a reliable water supply for the nursery is paramount. BMP recommends using lay-flat, perforated sprinkler tubes in the pre-nursery and an overhead sprinkler system in the main nursery. Water pumps should maintain pressure at 0.2 to 1 kg per square centimeter. Using stop valves and pressure gauges for each compartment in both the pre- and main nurseries is the most reliable way of checking and maintaining the required water pressure. Water pipes need regular cleaning. Opening both ends and flushing water through removes accumulation of sediments. With the double-stage nursery designed and the water distribution systems in place, seeding begins. Introducing the innovative Palm Drip System from Westec Engineering, Sindir and Berhad. The Palm Drip System combines the latest available technology and equipment with fertilizer which is formulated specifically for oil palm seedlings. After three years of usage in several major plantations in Malaysia and Indonesia, the results were impressive. Less weeds, less fungi, less fertilizer used, and less labor required. Dan penggunaan uh, air ya untuk siraman bibit yang ada di sini adalah sedikit sekali berbanding uh, sistem yang kita buat yang lalu. But that's not all. The system proved itself to be environment friendly while seedlings recorded faster growth rates. Here's how the system works. Raw water is pumped from an ordinary source such as a river or pond into a double filtration system. This is a high-performance primary and secondary filtration system designed to run for long periods. The filtered water goes into this innovative fertilization tank, which is also an irrigation unit. It is in this tank that fertilizer is mixed with water at a predetermined ratio. Using pipes of different diameters to help achieve required pressure levels, the nutrient-rich fluid is channeled to a network of dripper lines. This Uniram integrated dripper lines form the final and most crucial section of the system. This is where the palm drip system shows its true precision, ensuring that each seedling gets the same flow rate in the operating pressure range of 0.5 to 4 bars. Embedded in the dripper lines are pressure compensating drip feeders, gadgets which maintain a precise and uniform flow. Drip feeding is done twice a day, 15 minutes each in the morning and evening at a rate of 0.4 liters per feeding, a total of less than 1 liter per day. Each sibling receives only the specified amount of water and fertilizer. There is absolutely no wastage of water or fertilizer because every drop goes into the sibling bank. Compare this to conventional sprinklers and perforated tapes which use 10 to 15 liters per sibling per day. The difference is truly staggering. With the palm drip system, only two general workers are required for every 10 hectares. Labor cost can be reduced even further by upgrading to a fully automatic system. This palm grip system from Western has a lifespan of at least 10 years, during which time it requires very little maintenance. Finally, a truly efficient system that achieves faster and uniform growth, produces high-quality seedlings and yet reduces cost and labor requirements. The Palm Drip System. Innovative, environment-friendly, and cost-effective. The proof is out there. Is the best way to run a double stage. Fertilizer should only be applied by well-trained teams using calibrated containers, avoiding any contact between seedlings and the applied fertilizer. Additional plant nutrients come from mulch. Mulch substitutions, like sawdust or other materials that are not decomposed, 
may immobilize nitrogen in the soil and should never be used. Palm kernel shell is best for mulching and should be applied at a depth of 2.5 cm around, but not touching seedlings. Additional benefits of applying palm kernel shell mulch include minimizing moisture loss, suppressing weed growth, and preventing erosion from irrigation. Following these BMP guidelines certainly delivers the desired results. Proper nursery maintenance guarantees these results into the future. A clean, weed-free environment maximizes seedling growth. Every month, polybags should be weeded and the nursery cleaned, making sure to separate inorganic and organic waste. Every other month, as a second weed prevention measure, ground space between polybags is sprayed with contact herbicide. Cleaning and weeding is great for seedlings and bad for pests. Pests are a serious problem in oil palm nurseries. BMP encourages nursery managers to consistently and constantly monitor for pests. Appropriate control measures need to be in place and a monthly census carried out. Control actions are implemented based on census data. A weekly or fortnightly census may be needed during the control period. Clean, controlled, consistent. The best seeds, planted in the best soil, provided with the best nutrition and the best irrigation nursery. After seedlings have been transplanted into the main nursery, a first culling is performed, and badly developed palms that are too small or abnormal in growth are painted blue. Vegetation growth measurements are carefully monitored, beginning the fourth month after seed planting. A random sampling of 10 poly bags per 10,000 seedlings is used to analyze the progress of growth. The petiole cross-sections, bowl widths, seedling heights, and the number of green fronds from the sample bags are recorded and catalogued every two months. Six to seven months after the seedlings have been transplanted into the main nursery, the second and final call is performed. Poorly developed palms are painted red. Seedlings that have a blue marked from the first culling as well as a red mark from the second culling are immediately destroyed. Recording and cataloging of culling data is beneficial for future plantation planning, and a monthly census provides information valuable in calculating the outcome of each progeny. By eight months, some roots will have grown through the base of the polybag, potentially causing plant shock. To reduce plant shock, apply root pruning, which consists of rotating each poly bag, breaking any roots that may have grown into the soil. Between 8 and 10 months, remaining seedlings are ready for dispatch to the field. To prevent planting shock and floral abortion, seedlings must be thoroughly watered before transplanting to the field. During trek loading, transport and unloading, seedlings must be handled with great care. Kalau 